month's uh, meeting of the Lynchburg City Historic Preservation Commission. Um, hopefully everyone uh, that's involved in the meeting today has taken a look at the uh, minutes as far as what we have, or not the minutes, but the agenda as far as what we have going on today. Um, we will, I guess the first order of business is to take care of the consent agenda. Do we have any um, a motion to approve that, or does anyone have any comments about it? So move to approve. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, then we can move right on into new business, which uh, will be the properties that have been submitted certificates of appropriateness. So when we call the address forward, if the individual who is representing, whether it's be the owner or contractor, architect, whichever, uh, just please uh, come forward, state your name and address for the record and give a, pre a brief synopsis of the COA and then we can open for discussion and voting amongst the commissioners. So first up is 2135 Rivermont Avenue. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, this is Victoria Bartholomew. Uh, I am now at 2135 Rivermont Avenue, 24503. Excellent. Good to see you back. Yes, I am always here, it seems like. <laughs> um, I, am, I am here this time um, to give a short synopsis. We have a fence in the rear of this yard. There is some damage to this fence, but realistically, the reason we want to replace the four foot wooden fence with a six foot wooden fence um, is because we adopted a Great Dane. <laughs> and we love our animals very much and we want her to be able to go outside. So we are asking to replace our wood fence that's four feet tall with a new six foot wood fence so she will not escape. That makes sense. <laughs> Commissioners? Well, I will move approval. So let it be noted that Shanda has um, recommended approval as submitted. Is there a second? I'll second that. I don't have any issues. Any other commissioners have any issues regarding this request? Hearing none, we can call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Hearing none opposed, it looks like you're good to go, Mr. Bartholomew. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you so much, y'all. See you later. <laughs> Absolutely. Take care. All right. Bye. Bye. Next up, we have 1501 Church Street. I'm admitting him right now. Excellent. Thank you. Have you seen him come on board? Oh, oh, I see you right here. Is that you, Mr. Richardson? You're on. Hey, I'm here. Sorry about that. No, that's quite all right. Glad you made it. Yep. So uh, just for just so that we're in keeping with our normal policies, if you would just state your name and address for the record and then give a brief synopsis of the uh, COA as you've submitted. Okay. Uh, my name is Herman A. Richardson. I go by Alex Richardson. Um, the address is 1501 Church Street, Richburg, Virginia, 24504. Um, a quick synopsis is um, uh, we had to s stop with the, um, the foundation and driveway um, area because I had to put in or I put in a small um, retention wall 
um, instead of steps uh, that was approved on the original plan um, uh, that better contoured with the, the building. So it was kind of like a in the field, um, both the concrete and grader guy, um, how we were originally looking at doing the um, driveway just did not make sense going down the hill the way, and it caused for so much concrete. So um, we put in a small wall and did an angled driveway up to the pad. Um, and instead of steps, uh, you'll see I put a, a, in the back rear of, of where the, um, the, uh, the, the carriage house is going to be would be an entrance with a little sidewalk as opposed to steps on the side. Um, the steps on the side um, didn't seem like it would work appropriately um, with the building um, going down into it. Um, with the slope of the land and then um, because they would have uh, originally uh, I'm jumping ahead but the original grading uh, to match the pictures that we submitted would put the roof nearly at the same level um, as the as the, um, as, as the the top of the hill so it just did not make sense in regards of being able to grade down like that so that that way we kept the grade the natural grade of the hill um, and did that. So you can see where on my quick drawing, um, the retention wall is on the side and then the driveway would be there and then the sidewalk would be in back. And then the next part, the scope would be to put, um, and I'm, I'm open to any suggestions that the committee might have as opposed to um, what would match just because of the, the back end of the, or the end, the, the rear of the, the property is adjacent to the on-ramp. And there's just a lot of traffic right there, um, both for um, my son's dog um, and uh, anything for kids or anything like that in the back of the family. Um, I, I kind of want to put a privacy fence in the back um, on the on-ramp area. So that way it, um, it, it protects both the yard, um, both from a privacy standpoint where you can utilize the yard um, and with the amount of traffic and noise that actually goes back there. So that would be the, the, the secondary aspect of the COA. Okay. Those are just the pictures I did in terms of the idea. I would have to enclose the yard so where it would be on the side and anything visible outside of the on-ramp part, I was gonna do a picket fence and then a, a type of um, a, a privacy fence towards the back. And I already started putting in shrubs and trees um, that would actually hide some of the privacy fence so it doesn't look like it's a big fence on the side right there for the on-ramp. I, I wanted to maintain the natural flow of, of, the, of the hill, so I'm actually started with the, um, the plantings now um, before the fence. Okay, understood. How many, sec how many sections of that shorter fence? I know that there's a section that comes right off the house and when it makes the turn and starts running down the hill, how many sections of the short fence will it be before you, you know, go from four foot to the, to the uh, privacy fence? It, it's not really that much of a section at all because where how, uh, my, my, my drawing is kind of exaggerated on that. When I looked at that, it's not actually perfectly to scale. Um, now that I'm putting in the shrubbery of where that's at in the bushes right there, literally the, the, the fence is probably going to be um, six sections of six foot fence um, by eight feet going down the hill like that. Um, it starts at the corner of the house. So literally the picket fence won't even probably be on the back end. It'll just be on the sides. Okay. I understood. Behind that fence, it looks like there's a bunch of parking spaces. What is that? Ooh, uh, parking spaces. I mean, I don't understand what all those lines are. It looks like parking. <laughs> yeah, what are all those things? That's the house. Rick, That's the actual house. No, not Rick, that. The, on the other no, no. side. Yeah, all Rick, those. down there, that's a slope. That's a slope oh. of the yard leading down to the uh, the on-ramp for the expressway. Yeah, that's an actual slope. That's just correct. Okay, it probably says that, but I can't read it. Yeah. Um, and the, those are trees. So each where I have that, where the writing is there, um, those are crepe myrtle trees. Those are, those are bigger trees that are existing right there. So the fence would actually be behind the trees. And then I have shrubbery going between the trees to actually... Um, obscure the fence because I, I really don't like the idea of a fence right there as I'm driving by. Okay. Yeah, I think um, uh, I feel the fence 
is an, uh, I've got questions on the other part. Okay. With the with the driveway, how does that change what we originally approved? Um, if you like, look, for the, instance, the, the height of the garage is it, where, okay. where is the height, height of the garage? The height actually matches what we approved then. So the height and the and the and the the, the carriage house. That's exactly why we did it the way we did it is so that way it would not change the 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 elevation of the existing because um, uh, of the of the carriage house itself when we go to do that. Okay. So the pad, the the foundation and the pad and everything is identical. Uh, what's different is the entryway into that carriage house would have been such a, a high slope going down because the hill drops off right there after it so if we brought it if, if we if we graded down to church street which i originally it says alley on there but that's really not an alley that's actually church street i just learned that through this whole approval process um that that was um, um and we got the permit for the driveway so the um where i'm actually trying to get this vacated right now so then and um so that way I, I can acquire that part of the property as well. But right now, instead of going straight down from the carriage house to hit Church Street, that would have been such a slope, incremental slope. We maintain the integrity of the hill by doing it at an angle like that. And that way it, it, it hit Church Street right there. And, and I had to add that wall um, in the front part of the property which I did not, I thought that would have been a better idea to do. So like so the only thing that's changed at, is, the, is the wall. Is that the only thing that's that changed? That is correct. Angled, the angled wall, because the okay. original foundation wall that was approved um, is still there. So the foundation wall would be the straight part. And then you can see the angled part that goes this way. Um, the angled part would be the part that I did not get approved originally on the CEO. COA, um, and uh, I omitted the steps and added that sidewalk, and it, everything about it actually has a better terrain feel and look than the original plan because it matches the existing terrain now and slopes and um, how I'm doing the the front with the everything. It has a better look to it than than how it did originally, and that was made in the field that day. And I, I really stepped over my bounds before I spoke to Victoria about that, and I do apologize. Okay, thank you. Any commissioners like to make a motion based on the COA as it's submitted? So really the biggest thing is the wall and the sidewalk versus the steps? Yes, sir. And the fencing. And the fencing, yes. And the fencing, yeah. Now, do, do we have a specific fence? You gave us examples, but it's really- I gave different. examples because the fence I wasn't gonna do till the fall. Um, that what I'm learning in doing this, I can go with whatever contractors I can get right now. Um, so it's, everyone's really, really busy. So this was the style of fence that I, I felt that would work well. Um, it would be a wood fence um, you know, and depending on what it would look like, most likely I'm thinking of painting it. Like. Can you give us the samples of the fence, Victoria, so we can sort of look at, see what, if these are acceptable fences? Uh, um, what, what's everyone feeling on this? I, I don't know that we've ever approved one with the lattice on top. I mean, I'm not against it. <clears throat> the, the lattice, the reason I use that example as the lattice is I was going to use a picket on the top that match the picket parts of the side. So that way there's a blending of the fences. So it doesn't look like two totally different fences. So instead of actually using lattice, I was gonna mimic the the picket style of whatever the sides of the pickets would be, if that makes sense. Um, so you'd have small pickets on the top of that? That would be correct. That would match the picket style of the fence on the sides. So it would go from a picket fence on the sides to enclose the, the backyard to a privacy fence in the back against the road. And then the top of that fence would mimic the picket style of the other fence. I think I think that might be a little too contrived. Okay. Uh, I think the picket fence 
I mean, I think picket fence would look fine with this, but yeah, that picket fence. Yep. Um, but also, you could you could just do um, uh, what do you call them? Are they call not not the stockade? The the one with the rabbit ears. What do they call those things? Uh, it's a six foot fence. Solid. Doggy. Dog ear, dog ear, dog ear, dog ear. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But I think this would look fine. With, this would also look fine with the other fence you just had with the lattice. I don't think that's it. Um, but probably this one is just a plain solid one um, with the dog ears would probably be the. Okay. I'm yeah. I'm subject to whatever in the back. I wanted to make sure that I got y'all's approval for whatever it would be. But I mean, what, what's everyone else's feeling on the on the other fence with the lattice? I mean, I, I don't object to that either. I don't want to dictate what to put up. I, I, like I, mean, I think that's a good fence. that's a good looking fence, also. Yeah, it really is a good looking fence, I think, and it would look good there. Yeah, in my I, opinion. So I, think I, I've, I don't I don't I've see any these before. Say that again. I believe I've seen that used on Rivermont Avenue, the midsection of Rivermont Avenue. I think I've seen that on on a property. Yeah, I, I, I guess what he's saying is he doesn't think it would look good with the picket fence, but I think it would. I think it'd be fine. A mixture of the two. So that's the one I like. So that's that's that would be great. Well, I, I move that we approve as submitted for the fence and for the sidewalk uh, and the retaining wall. Second. Is there a second? I second. All right. Thank you. Um, are there any further questions, comments, or concerns regarding this? Hearing none, we can call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? I don't think so. I think we had someone else join, but no, I think we're good. Excellent. Well, sir, we certainly appreciate your coming in today and providing this information. The property is looking great. And I know you're excited to get more work done while the weather's nice. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Yes, you as well. All right. Thanks. Uh, next up, we have 1316 Pierce Street. If you would just state your name and address on the record and let us know about the COA in question. Oh, 1316 Pierce Street, Joseph Shalev. And um, I had a meeting already last month about this, and um, you guys decided if I can have a door with one panel rather than two lower panels because maybe two of the doors on the street had that and uh, first i did get a, a estimate from lowe's uh, uh, or home depot i don't remember one of them and it would cost me over sixteen hundred dollars just for the door and um I further looked at all the doors in my neighborhood and they all have two panels. The ones that we, we had in questions that they were one panel, both of them have two panels. This is the door like 1312 that we thought that it had one panel. And I don't remember the other door. I sent all the pictures again. This, this is the 1310. And has these two 1312 and 1310 i think it was that we thought it had two panel uh one panel and they both have two panels okay so what what do you have now what's there now i mean which house is yours <laughs> one, i see all these different doors one three one six was oh if you go back I think you skipped on it, uh, Victoria. Um, go back a little bit more, more, more. Oh, 
I hold on. No, oh, this is the back. Uh, how can I share a picture? I have a picture of it. I think I gave it to you, but I don't think. How can I share a picture what, what, with this thing? You can share your screen on the toolbar where you can see the a microphone and a camera. There's a box with an arrow pointing up that says share content. It says open share tray. I guess so. Yes. Oh, screen share. Okay. Entire screen window. This one. Share. Okay. I think there it is. There's my door. Can you see it? I see a can lot of it. it. Can you click on it? Maybe you'll enlarge it. I'm not sure. We're seeing a lot of doors. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Can you, uh, you might be sharing just that window instead of your entire desktop. I got it. Let me go back. Sorry. Uh, let me click out of this. Stop sharing. Oh boy, here we go. Do this. Share. Okay, I, I think I understood one more second and I will do this. Okay. There it is. Is, there, is everybody, can you see it? Oh yeah. Yes. Okay. So what's wrong with this door? Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, let's start with uh, square. It's not square. So on the top, it's not. It's hidden a little bit. I don't know if you see the difference between the the frame and the door. Not really. Uh, but it's not square. Or the open. No. Both are not square. They're. Uh, uh, the door, um, first, it, it looks like it's square, but if you look at the house and the frame, it goes up a little bit and down a little bit. So it does look a little bit, but the door itself, I need, I will have to add about an inch and a half on top. And on the bottom, I will have to add probably uh, an inch and a half on one side and two and a half on the other. Oh, the panels, the bottom panel is completely messed up. The middle panel is halfway messed up. It's if you, I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually kind of like a ply. Uh, it's, it was fixed before. It's not the original panel, the middle one. Top mm -hmm. right panel completely missing. It's a piece of plywood. Top left panel is about to come off. Is this, uh, do you think this is the original door? I have no idea. This is the door when it was, when I bought it, that's what it was. Okay. And what are you proposing now to put there? Show us the door that you're proposing to put there. I think Victoria has that. There it is. That one? Yes, sir. Is that, uh, what kind of wood is that? Um, fir wood. Okay, and did we approve something else the last time? Is that what happened with that? You approved the same door with, if I can have it with one panel instead of two panels at the bottom. So you have, so you want two panels or you're asking, or, or, or do you want one panel? I would like two panels, please. Like this. So this is uh, yes. the door. This is the door, and I'm begging you, please, please, please. I really want to put the door. <laughs> <laughs> and why don't you want to put one panel? I don't understand. And well, I, don't, a... I think the I don't have any problem with the two panel. 
the windows. Uh, what mm-hmm. do you have any other options? Yeah. Like like a smaller. I mean, this window. Well, that's more arts and crafts. Uh, what else you got here? I had these two because I had few last time, last week, last month, and um, only these two went through, or I don't remember why we had. Well, can you can you get this door with a different? Um, that's not a nine light. Different light pattern. Yeah, the the window in your door, trying to you know if we're trying to keep it the same style or close to it, yours your window is not as big as this. You know, it, it is more panels, less window. This is Correct. more window, less panels. So, um, I mean, it's not an objectionable door, I don't think. Okay. But you well, only, you're only given us like one choice to look at two, two choices um the since i thought that you approved last month this door with one panel i thought that you like the nine windows it's okay with you but that, the one panel victoria is that what we approved this the same door with one panel i believe that's correct well if that's the case then i don't have any objection with the two panels if we've already approved the other one Approved which one? Well, he's saying that we already approved this door with one panel. I'm not sure that we approved no. the door. Uh, did we, Victoria? It was. It was a uh, conditional approval of that door, option one, with one panel on the bottom. Okay, so we approved one panel. That's right. But not this door with two panels. Correct. Okay. Well, so Howard, know. Mr. Mr. Um, Shilab, you were asking, I know we had talked um, briefly on the street, you were asking about the storm door. Um, yes. Have you have you considered a storm door that's going to work with this with this door that you'll be able to still see the the nine light, you know, that will that will come across? Um, I will, uh, Victoria already approved to re- uh, to replace the current door that you cannot see this door completely at all. And I would consider very much to actually um, stain this door. That's what my uh, purpose is, to stain this door and put an open glass storm door in front Mm -hmm. of it. Okay. That is is my, I would love to do that. A full full glass, like like there's another neighbor on the street that has to say, they they have this full glass storm doors. Correct. That's what I would like, a full glass, like the one on the right, or mm-hmm. no, on the one on the left, actually. That's what I would like. Mm-hmm. So this and, door would be very similar to that to that look. It so doesn't have a one panel on the bottom. Right. Right. Okay. Right. okay. But it will have two panels and nine on top. Yes. Mm-hmm. And it will be uh, all um, uh, stained, uh, natural stain. On the door. Yes, mm-hmm. a little bit darker, then, a little bit. And tinted. then, what did you, what did Victoria approve for the storm door? Is that going to be white? Uh, uh, Victoria already approved exactly what I have already there. A white, similar door to what I have. I see. Okay. I move to accept um, the um, submittal as. As um, proposed. Do I have a second? I'll second. Any other questions, comments, concerns for clarification? Hearing none, we can call for a vote. I get, uh, Victoria, we'd rather do roll call. We have the last few, we were just hollering out, but it's up to uh, you. Now. Yes, please. Let's do roll call. Go right ahead. Commissioner Erguiaga. Aye. Commissioner Horner. Aye. Commissioner Langseth? Aye. Commissioner McSwain? Aye. Commissioner Morris? Aye. Commissioner Spencer Hester? Aye. Excellent. 
Looks like we are good to go and you get to proceed with your lovely door. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Yes, thank, thank you, Mr. Shillab. Take care. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, next up, we have 301 Cavill Street. Hello. Good day, how are you? Doing very well, William is here with me today. Hello. Excellent, thank you so much. Uh, just for our records, for the city records, if you just state your name and address and then uh, the nature of the COA. Sure, so my name's Christina Brummy, and with me is William Woods and we are the owners at 301 Cavill Street. And um, we are going over, um, we had tabled talking about window replacement after providing a little bit more information um, since uh, we were asking about composite versus fiberglass. Mm -hmm. um, we touched base, I think probably the Pella Impervia is actually a moot point at this um, point because we had the Pella rep compare the Impervia um, SDL um, profile and he said it was too narrow, um, but the Anderson composite, um, which is wood fiber plus their proprietary mix of fiberglass composite, um, their SDL profile is um, similar, is more similar. Um, it's basically the same as uh, um, the other simulated panes. So those would be more um, composite material. So if we end up doing the Pella windows, we would just use the um, the clad windows as guided in the guidelines. But if, depending on what you guys think about the composite option. Um, mm -hmm. Which one is the Pella? What, what is this one? This is an Anderson window. So the this one is the composite. They, they're, they're, uh, they describe, the thing is called Fibrex and that is a composite window. So wood fiber plus a polymer and fiberglass. So the Pella windows that we would use, the their fiberglass option wasn't compatible or didn't seem to be as compatible historically. They didn't seem to be compatible? No, so I had provided information on Impervia because I wanted to give information in time for this next meeting, but then we spoke to, and the rep was at our house, and he suggested against these because he didn't think that the SDL profile would be appropriate in a historic district. So if we use um, Pella windows, it will not be fiberglass, it will be wood um, or aluminum clad as per the guidelines. It's just, we are still getting a quote from Anderson and wanna know whether or not we can ask them to quote us with this Fibrex material, which as I understand it has, is not specifically commented in the guidelines. Okay. Yeah, it isn't, and I'm not familiar with it to be honest with you. I, I mean, I may have seen it, but um... <clears throat> let me let me uh, interject here a little bit. I did go to her house, and so as far as um, replacing the windows, her windows that are there are not the original ones. I would say they're probably from the 60s or 70s, maybe, and they are a mess. So I think that um, replacement. Did did we already approve anything for this? We had talked about gutters um, and had been approved to add a gutter on the side of the house that is not um, on C Street as well as along the front porch, but we didn't specifically, because of needing to provide more information about the windows, we had pushed it until this month. Okay, so just, just so the other, um, everyone else could know that, that I did go there and um, it's my opinion that the windows that are there um, not original and they really are a mess. They're all painted closed and it would be a nightmare trying to restore these and I don't know that they're worth restoring. So I mm -hmm. think uh, so I think replacement in this particular case is in order. Uh, so I think the question is whether or not the windows that she's choosing are compatible with a historic neighborhood. Mm -hmm. uh, now there are windows that are compatible. Is this is either uh, any of these windows have have they been uh, um, approved for historic neighborhoods before? I know you sent a lot of information. 
So we were we were told that the the representative and the contractor that came out specifically from Anderson, who has this Fibrex material, says that they have been used in other historic districts. They could not specifically remember a project in Lynchburg, um, but they work sort of around Roanoke um, and that area. And sort of the the pitch on there, um, they have a wood that is clad in Fibrex to save the Fibrex and they specifically Obviously, they can say whatever they want in their marketing materials, but their marketing materials specifically say they're more historically representative, but have the benefit of lower maintenance, better environmental friendly. And it's the 100 series as well as the A series is the other one. And is, if I may ask, the uh, I know you provided letters, or one from the uh, city of Williamsburg, and is that where they were this? Aaron Burke uh, makes reference of, of permitting the use of composite windows in, in new construction and addition. Um, uh, is that particular window what is being referenced in that letter? So I, so I believe Victoria got that letter. I did not reach out to the other okay. historic society. Okay. And Vic, uh, you were nodding your head, Victoria. Is that so that? window, the composite windows, what they're referencing is that they approved that in Colonial Williamsburg or a Williamsburg historic district? Uh, yes, these were the two localities that responded to my question whether they've used composite before. So this is what we have, but that's what they used. Okay, so Williamsburg and Fredericksburg. Okay, okay. Um, hmm. So do we have a, an example of what is that the only picture we have? I mean, that's that show. It is just, it, yeah. You know, you, you can't really tell anything by this picture. Um, but but we had now. Why aren't you going with the aluminum clad? Because we do approve those. So these are have a better the the R and the U value for these windows is better than aluminum clad windows. Um, so we're just trying to be environmentally efficient. And you're going with what? What are your windows now? Are they six over six? They are six over six, mm -hmm. correct. And we can duplicate the six over six with this, with this and style. That, you know, well, what we do, what we, what what it has to be is uh, simulated divided light. Correct. SDL. So. And that's what it is. All right. Um, I. Without seeing this window, I'm not comfortable approving it, to be honest with you. I'm not saying that we wouldn't, but it's, you know, by this picture, uh, what else do we have that you sent us? What, what other pictures do we have? I'm trying to think. Anderson was just honestly a little bit complicated to find uh, actual useful. Um, let me, I'm just looking online, so excuse me. Um, when, when do you plan on doing this? when would we like to get it started immediately because we don't feel particularly safe when we're in the house since there's no means of egress aside from the doors. Christina, if you have any materials on your computer now, you can always share them now yeah, we'll uh, via Teams. I'm just trying to see if I can pull something up that has the six over six. But as I said, the Anderson website. Well, it's, is it's not so much the six over six. I mean, if you're doing that SD, you know, SDL light, that's mm -hmm. fine. What I want to see is the profile of the window and, and what it looks like. Um, and, and, and let me add, you, you chose Keller and Anderson, why? Any reason? Just because of the, the reputation of both of the companies um, and in terms of the guarantees that they have for their products. Okay. So I, I can reach out to the Anderson rep and see if they have something more specific that will give you more detail in the profile. But uh, other than me sort of bumbling through um, the website, I apologize that I don't have other options. Um, so you, you feel more comfortable with going with Anderson? I, I think I, we we don't have a specific, no. we don't have a specific goal in mind. If we end up going with the Pella, it will be I think more standard to what you you are familiar with. If we end up well, going, oh, I'm familiar with Anderson. You know what? I'm going to flip out of here for a few seconds and grab my books because I got Anderson books right here. 
and I'm going to see which ones are acceptable for historic districts. Unless, unless if, if everyone on this committee is comfortable with approving an Anderson replacement and, 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 and letting me pick it out, I'll work it out with, with the owners. I can do that because, and, and this, and what I'm saying, I, what, the reason I'm saying this is if she wants to get started, I don't want to really hold it up, but I really think that we need, you know, this, this, this house, I don't know if everyone's been to her house, but it's a, it's a really nice house and it's in a real prominent area of Cavill Street. So we want to make sure that the windows look good. And I'm sure she does too. Um, so, and, and, you know, we're not, we're not trying to, you know, we, we want it to be cost efficient for you. And, and you know, there are other options other than Anderson, the, uh, in, uh, in other than Pella. I have, um, I'm in your neighborhood and I just put replacement, I'm well, it's a new building, but I just put, uh, I think there are Anderson. I'm not even sure what they put, but anyway. Um, and the commission does have to make a decision today due to the 60 day uh, review limit. That's correct. So can, so can we approve it? with the stipulation that the, you know, in other words, we can approve an Anderson window with the stipulation that the advocate chooses the, the model, the, the series. Yeah, absolutely. You as a commission can do conditional COAs, um, do whatever capacity. Okay. Well, I Is would that... be happy to move that. Right. And I think the, the only caveat that I would have would be we if we choose to do Pella windows which would be wood or aluminum clad versus having uh, Rick very helpfully help with Anderson windows is but that we, still, we, is that still acceptable would uh, hold on one second I would say it is yes because we've approved yes. that in the past yeah. uh, you can find that and we'll find it I would be comfortable with that if Rick, for I Rick would. to make the decision. I would as well. And yeah. know, also knowing that they have the option to go with the, the pellet clad windows too, if they, if they so choose, because yeah, those are still here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Woodwright is one from Anderson and the architect series, which what series? 400. So there's a 400 series from Anderson and Woodwright is another one. I, and I think both of those are aluminum clad. Are you, are you okay with aluminum clad or do you really want to have this other one? We are okay with aluminum clad, but as I said, the appeal of the Fibrex material, mm -hmm. especially in light of the fact that it's been used in other historic districts is the improved energy efficiency, which is important to us so if we can still we're we're excited about where this house is and wanting to be as respectful as possible um with um sort of how prominent it is in the street uh, but also are sort of hoping whatever we're replacing is also sort of something that has good longevity um and it seems like that's why we're asking specifically about the composite. It's not that we're not open to aluminum clad because certainly if we decide to go with Pella, that would be what we're using. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, um, that's fine. And, and as far as the color goes? We would just be planning on using, it's white frame and white windows, which is what we would continue to use. All right, so I don't know if I'm the one that should make that, um, the, uh, the, 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 didn't uh, Shanda? Didn't you just make a motion? Uh, yes, I did. Yeah. So. What was? It? <laughs> <laughs> the motion is that we would approve the uh, replacement of these windows, uh, pending your approval of the specific material. Okay. For yes. the and. Right. And it, they don't have to be Anderson windows. They don't have to be Pella windows. It's just approving replacement oh, windows that are acceptable in the historic too. district. Right. Okay. 
Okay. So, uh, Rick, did you, you made that motion, correct? I think Rick froze. He's not moving. I think no, I made the motion, Chris. Okay, perfect, perfect. All yeah. right, is there a second? Do we have I'll, a second? I'll second. Excellent. Thank you, Tracy. Um, any further questions, comments, or concerns? Hearing no. none, we'll call for a vote. Go ahead, Victoria. Commissioner Eric Wiaga. Aye. Commissioner Horner. Aye. Commissioner Lipsy. Oh, sorry, Commissioner Langsa. <laughs> Aye. Commissioner McSwain. Aye. I don't know if we want to wait a second to see if it comes back. Uh, Commissioner Spencer Hester. Aye. All right. Well, the motion passes, so we'll count him absent for this one. Yes, that'll work perfectly. Thank okay. you. And thank okay. you also. We appreciate your help and your work on the owls is beautiful. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for your time. Uh, absolutely. Thank you. Have a great week. You too. Thank you. All right, folks, we move on to 421 Rivermont Avenue. Is there a representative online? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Excellent. If you would just, for the record, state your name and address and then uh, provide some details on your HOA. Our yeah, COA. so <laughs> um, my name is Casey Service. I'm with Architecture Design Office. Uh, we're with the architects for the uh, owner. Um, and we were here last month with some uh, additional information on uh, the locked in windows on the two long side elevations following up from a COA application last year where um, we had some additional work that was uh, covered and approved this being the last item. Uh, we found a historic photo, a uh, couple of historic photos, the one shown, Victoria shown here shows windows that are still existing. Um, that's, this is inside looking at the stage, that's one that's still existing in the rear. Um, and then there's another historic photo that's oblique that shows um, that those blocked in window openings are were windows, but you can't really tell what the pattern was. So the discussion last week was what best, what windows would be best to, to sort of replicate and, and how best to do that. Um, we talked about the to the casements that are here on the front elevations, uh, they they don't match proportionally uh, width wise, um, and the steel sash that were in that other interior historic photo and that are still there uh, are present on the rear wing, and they're very similar proportions but not quite the same. Um, so it sounded like the uh, that was the preferred general direction. Um, the commission asked us to, or help help. Uh, Commissioner Horner helped us reach out to Jones Memorial because I had failed several times to to get anywhere because they've been closed, um, and they confirmed that there weren't any additional pictures there and what they have. Um, so we're sort of going off of our best guess. So we updated the elevations to match the number of lights to these steel sash windows, the, um, we're proposing to move the operable uh, panels down and uh, all the way across because it's a more readily available window. Um, proposing using a Pella architectural series uh, with so that all the smaller muttons would match profile to, or very closely to the steel sash that's there. Um, but the larger frame members on the perimeter and between the windows would be be thicker. That looks great. Anyone have any, um, would like to make a motion on that or have any questions before we go to uh, that point? I have a question. Um, Casey, I know that uh, Emmett has been in touch with you and he's not here today, but uh, he suggested that you reach out to Boyd Aluminum 
which mm-hmm. make the window with a hopper function that he said was um, suitable or made for historic buildings like this. Did you do that? I've so he he emailed after we had submitted this, um, and then I've called and left a message, but I haven't heard back. It was he he emailed me that name sort of middle of the week last week, um, so. I, I haven't heard anything more from them. Looking at their website, it looks like it's something that they could probably do. Um, I do, you know, in some ways we're, we're, we're making an assumption sort of one way or the other. Anyway, because none of these but, are a perfect match. But didn't, didn't one of these photos show hopper windows? Or did I it's, just... Yeah, so... so Victoria, before you flip back to that, the hopper window that's shown is the one that's in the bottom left here that's existing. Um, and the steel sash windows that are still present are in that taller uh, sort of the back of house space. Um, and you can see if you flip back to the, that interior, interior historic photo. Yeah. Um, it's the brick wall on the very left of the picture is the proscenium arch of the stage. And so the windows that we're talking about are to the left of that brick wall. And this one's back and to the right. The um, I'm, I'm not a theater person, so I can't, <laughs> I don't know what the technical term is, but the, the, the back of the stage that that's where that window is. So it's not, that window is not one of the ones that we're, talking about it very well could be that they all matched i'm not but we just don't know mm-hmm. anyone else anyone like to make a motion Anyone at all? Someone, does, a, does, oh, does this yeah. have to be approved today, or is there time for him to look into the windows that Emmett recommended? A decision has does have to be made because of the 60-day review limit. Okay. Any commissioners interested in making motion on that? Victoria, can you go back to the rear elevation? So is this a little window there that we're um, questioning? So, so those windows are the ones that are existing and those were keeping and repairing in place. Mm-hmm. And then on the, the, Top picture number seven on the left, that the side elevation, the shorter part of the building. Uh, mm-hmm. Victoria, if you go back to, to that elevation, those, those sort of the, those windows on the side there that are blocked in with that diamond pattern, concrete block, we're proposing to reopen those. I see. And so this we is did. what you don't have a, a picture this of. This is what we don't have a picture of, other than that one that just shows that there were windows there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, we did some, I mentioned last month, we did some exploratory demo, very minimal from the inside. And from what we could tell, there's nothing still in there. Um, is that opening the same size as another opening it's, anywhere? Yeah, it's, it's very close to those steel sash windows in the back size wise, mm-hmm. but it's, it's slightly different. Um, but it's, it's, it's within a matter of inches. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we're, that's what we've been trying to, to replicate somewhat. Um, but we're not, you know, not a hundred percent certain on, on what's there. And so these windows with originally was this building up, was this always a theater? It was built as a theater. Yes. Uh, and this 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 portion of the theater where the windows we're looking at at the rear, what part of the theater theater is that on the inside? Is that the stage? 
where you were talking, the, where you were just the showing? The taller portion is the stage that, in this picture number four, that the front wall that sort of goes over top, yeah, right there is, that's the uh, proscenium arch of the stage. And mm -hmm. so this portion in the front would be, would be where people would have sat. Um, this portion where you are, this portion back here, yep. was yep. blocked in where people would have sat. Exactly. So, so you know, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to think about this as it being a theater um, originally, and that this is where people would have sat. Would would, have, would they have been a window? I mean, would would it that's have, what the we have a historic photo showing that there were windows. That there were windows. Yeah, it just and so they would not, have been they would have been draped or something. Exactly, yeah. you can see mm -hmm. here that there were windows there. We just yes. can't mm -hmm. tell from from that what they were. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so we feel really comfortable saying that there were windows and and that mm -hmm. we should be able to open them back up, but we're not 100 percent sure. On okay, how. okay. Now, can we go to the window that you're proposing to put in there? So on the bottom here, the the larger window on the left is approximately what the existing steel sashes are, mm -hmm. and on the right is what we're proposing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so the window on the front part of the building, the tall part of the building, would be the uh, uh, the window on the left side. No. The window on the right side. On the right side. Are okay. the new? Are the proposed new? And the windows on the left are the ones that still exist. Okay. In the back and the opposite side from what's on this page. I see. I see. Okay. And 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 how would these windows open? So the windows that we're proposing, the bottom two rows of lights would be an awning window that pushed mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. And the top the top three rows are stationary, correct? Yes, the top three rows are fixed. Yep. Okay. All right. Thank you. Any commissioners like to make a motion? I will make a motion to approve. A second. Do we have a uh, any uh, questions, comments, or concerns? Hearing none, we can call for a vote. Go ahead, Victoria. Commissioner Iguiaga. Aye. Commissioner Horner. Aye. Commissioner Langseth. Aye. Commissioner McSween. Aye. Commissioner Morris. Commissioner Spencer Hester. Aye. Excellent. Thank you, everybody. Uh, yes, thank you very much. I'm sure you all are excited to get moving on that project. It's, yes, it's we are. Along. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Fantastic. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks. Thank Thanks, you. Bye bye. All right, uh, Victoria, that concludes our new business items, and it looks like you want to have a discussion regarding contractors' lists. Yes. So we have a list that the HPC put together a couple years ago. I think it was last rehauled 2018 that we hand out to participants when they want information on who to use in the area. Of course, we cannot, we as a city cannot recommend anybody, and we can't even assemble or add names to this list. But after some complaints from citizens, I went through it to see how up to date it was. And turns out it was not very. Many of the companies on there no longer existed, were their numbers had changed. So I updated what I could. Unfortunately, that means that the list is now kind of sparse. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I need from the commission moving forward is to either reach out or to your um, to people in the area who work in this or have had experience or just keep a list or send me names of people to add to this list and so that we can get some more information for people who are new and starting out on their historic homes. Okay. Great. So fleshing it out a little bit more, we're looking for, yes. your, for assistance from us in fleshing this out. Exactly. Okay. Very good. Would it be acceptable if I ask all commissioners to provide at least maybe, because I, I'm sure it's gonna be very difficult for us to all coordinate which names we're giving to you. So if everybody were to just 
uh, try and come up with maybe five over the next month uh, to send your way. Um, and then you, you might have some duplicates, which will be fine, but hopefully having five from each of us would at least give you uh, several new items to put on here. Um, some people may have a lot more than five. I know, uh, you know, I would say that Rick Rick's Rolodex is probably a mile and a half long, so he may be able to provide quite a few. Um, does that sound acceptable? Yes, I think that would be very helpful. And you have the list as well, so you can take a look at the areas that are sorely lacking and the ones that yeah. don't need as much help. Perfect, perfect. Um, it, would you be have the opportunity to just to quickly fire that off in an email to the whole group because not, obviously not everyone is here today but just sure. let them know kind of what we've agreed upon in the meeting and then we'll provide that to you before the next meeting i would say if uh let's see our next meeting is the 21st of june how about if we have it done by the 14th everybody get at least five by the 14th so that that way you can update it and give us a status update on the 21st meeting that sounds good. I will send out that email. Wonderful. That sounds great. Anyone have any other business for us to attend to? No. No. Well, I hope everyone has a great week then, and we look forward to seeing you on June 21st, 4 o'clock. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.